Hello there, it's Marco Schwartz here and inside this video I will review one of the latest boards that was made by Arduino which is this one, the Arduino MKR1000. So this is a very small Arduino board with Wi-Fi on board and a quite powerful ARM processor. It also has a lot of pins that you can usually find on Arduino boards. So inside this video I will review the board, I will tell you what you can use it for and I will also show you uh, very quickly how to actually configure the board using the Arduino IDE. So what I really like about this board is the fact that there is Wi-Fi on board. For me that's the number one reason to actually choose this board. You can just use it with the usual Arduino IDE as we'll see later in the video but also you can connect it to your Wi-Fi network in seconds. Okay, You don't have to use another shield or to plug some other components with jumper cables, you can just directly uh, use the board and use the onboard Wi-Fi connection. So in seconds, as I said, you can uh, connect it to your local network, you can control it remotely, you can also connect it to the, to the web, right? And then monitor, for example, data from anywhere in the world. By the way, I recommend, of course, my ARES framework for that. And you can also control uh, for example, appliances from anywhere in the world as well. So really a perfect board for Internet of Things uh, applications as well. So the other thing that I really like about this board is the fact that there is a quite powerful ARM processor on board as well. Compared to like previous Arduino boards that was using like the Arduino Uno, which is an 8-bit processor, this one here is a 32-bit processor, which means that you have a lot of power to run your applications and especially a lot of memory space to, uh, to code, right? So you are not any more limited by the small space of an Arduino Uno. You can really have large and complex programs and you can really experiment with a lot of stuff using this board. So that's really nice as well. Other things that I like, well, on this board, as you can see here, uh, i try to show you that, you have this little uh, white connector on the side, right? And this is called a GST connector. And you can directly plug um, a battery on it, okay, so it's 3.7 volt, I guess, battery uh, on the board, so directly without any other components, and then you can run it on a simple battery. So that's great as well, because as you know, the previous, um, for example, the Arduino Uno required either external components or uh, you know, like a USB uh, power adapter to run it, so it was more difficult to run it from battery. With this board, it has the right connector, so it's very easy to run from battery. Uh, now, before we actually see what, uh, what you need to do to actually use the board, let me tell you about some of the things I don't like. There are not a lot of things, but I would say the, f the thing I don't like is the price, okay? So it's a bit overpriced. It depends on the country where you are, but compared to other uh, chips and boards like the ESP chip, right? It's really overpriced. What you are basically paying, of course, is the Arduino brand. And the fact that you also have most of the inputs and outputs that you have on a normal Arduino board, like the Arduino Uno. So you also have a lot of analog inputs on this board, which is a real advantage compared to the ESP chip, for example, if that's something you need, okay? So that's what you will pay for the extra price. Now what I propose to do is I will just switch to the computer screen. I will show you quite quickly how to get started with this board and also how to connect it to your Wi-Fi network. So I am now inside the Arduino IDE and I will just show you how to use the MKR board for the first start. So now what I will do is I will just plug the board actually to my computer and actually the latest version of the Arduino IDE I actually show you the message that you should install a package to actually use the board. So we'll do that right away. I will install the package like in this latest version. So this will basically install all the board definitions that you need to use the board and so it's actually recognized by the Arduino IDE. Okay, 
Great, so now the board definition are actually installed. So I will close that. And there is one more thing that you need to actually use the full potential of the board. And this is the Wi-Fi 101 library. And you need this library because you need it to actually uh, use the Wi-Fi chip that is on the board. Without it, you will be able to use the board, but without the Wi-Fi functions. So for that, we'll just do inside sketch, include library, and then we'll go to manage libraries. And inside there, just type Wi-Fi 101, and you will uh, find it here. So as, as you can see, I already had it because I was using uh, all the boards using the same uh, Wi-Fi library in the past, but now I will just update it. And now it's actually updated in the latest version and I can close that. So what I open here is a default sketch from Arduino. You can find it in file, examples, Wi-Fi 101, and I loaded Wi-Fi web client. And what I will do here is simply change that um, to get my own Wi-Fi network name and password. And then I will show you how it actually works on the board. So I'll do that now by saving this as a new file. So I will just save it somewhere on my desktop. I will call it with the same name. So now I can actually edit this and this here. Great, so now I actually have my Wi-Fi name and password field here, and I can upload this sketch to the board. So what it will do, uh, it will just connect to the Google server, just search for Arduino, and display the result inside the serial monitor. So it's very simple. I just want to show you how easy it is to actually connect to the Wi-Fi network. So now I would select uh, my board. So Arduino MTR1000. I will select the right serial port, which is this one over there. That's correct. That's also correct. So this will now upload uh, the sketch to the board. And as you can see, it's already done. So I will now open the cell monitor and I want to see what's going on. So it is attempting to connect to my local Wi-Fi network here. And as you can see, it went quite fast, but basically what happened is that it connected to the Wi-Fi network. So it got an IP address and also um, printing the signal strand here. And then it started the connection to the server. Well, there actually is some problem uh, because apparently on for my local Google, you cannot just search like this. Um, but whatever, this is not the point here. Uh, I just wanted to show you that it was very easy to actually uh, connect to the local Wi-Fi network and then also uh, using this Wi-Fi 101 library actually send in a request to a remote server. So really this board allows you to nearly instantly uh, build Wi-Fi connected projects, whereas it's just to use it within your own local network. So for example, for home automation applications, or if it's to actually interact with some web services and you know monitor your board from somewhere else in the world. And this will lead to more Internet of Scenes application. But this board is just perfect for those type of projects. So to summarize what we saw in this video, as you saw, it's very easy board to connect to your local Wi-Fi network. It's also uh, very easy to actually use with the Arduino IDE. So I would say that it's a perfect board to actually replace like old Arduino boards, like the Arduino Uno, because it has everything you need, like the battery connector, more powerful processor, also has Wi-Fi, so the price can be really the difference uh, compared to the ESP chip. But if you need an Arduino board with analog inputs, for example, that's definitely the board to get. So that's the end of this video. I hope that it was useful and I hope that you will actually choose this board for your projects. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please let me know just by leaving a comment below. As usual, if you liked the videos I'm doing, please also subscribe to this channel and you will receive notifications whenever I publish a new video. That being said, thank you again for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.